I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning that God has given us to come in His presence before His precious Word. For this morning's meditation, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 27, verses 11. My son, be wise, and make my heart glad, that I may answer him that reproacheth me. And the Spirit of the Lord was talking to the children of Israel through King Solomon. The Lord was instructing them to be wise so that they can be an example for the whole world and then teach them the divine principles. And it would make the heart of the Lord glad as the Lord wants all His creation to be in the right path and be away from destruction. The Lord looks at His creation with much love and care, just like a father does to his children. That is why it is written in the scriptures that the Lord, like an eagle, bore the children of Israel upon His wings and taught them to fly. As a child of God, we must read and meditate the Holy Scriptures to know the heart of our Father. Many believers, they search the Scriptures for some verses that is pleasing to them, so that then they can claim the blessings that are written in the Word of God. They forget the fact that the blessings which the Spirit of the Lord has mentioned in the Scriptures are for our comfort, so that we may walk in the path of the Lord without any worries. The Lord has given us His scriptures, both the Old and the New Testament, so that we may understand the nature of God, how He dealt with each individual, so that we may learn how to lead a life that's pleasing to God. We can avoid the mistakes which the people of the Lord have committed in their lives. And it would help us to grow into perfection that the Lord desires from our lives before we leave this world. We have just few days in this world. If we repeat the mistakes, which others have committed, then it only slows down the divine work that the Spirit of the Lord has begun in our lives. Here look at the heart of the Lord while He speaks to the children of Israel. God says, My son, be wise and make my heart glad. Every father desires that his children walk in the right path so that he can walk with his head high before others. And for that, he labors hard for their right upbringing and protects them with a loving heart. Sometimes, he also punishes them with a sincere desire that they may not repeat the mistakes which he has committed in his own life. And when the son walks in the right path, the father with a proud heart can answer them who reproach him, while he deals with his son with some strict rules. Nowadays, the society is against punishing a child when he does wrong. They give the child the liberty to do anything that he desires. And so we can see the effect of that attitude in our society. Even the scriptures teach us to use the rod to correct a child when he does wrong. A heavenly father who is the perfect father to all his creation knows the best. How to deal with the children who are born sinners. Let us humbly follow the instructions which the Lord teaches us. If a worldly father desires his son to be a matter of pride for him, then how much more the Heavenly Father desires from His chosen children. The Lord was not asking the children of Israel to offer more sacrifices or to bring tithes to the house of the Lord. Instead, He was asking them to follow the divine law that He has given them, so that they may be wise to walk in the right path. The divine law was not given to them to preach to others, the Gentile nations, around them, but it was given so that they can apply it all in all the spheres of their lives. And when they obediently follow the commandments of the Lord and walk in the path given to them, it makes the heart of the Heavenly Father glad. The Lord is proud to be called their God before the nations who reproach His divine path and walk in the path of evil and sin. If the Lord just desired obedience to His commandments from the chosen nation of Israel, then how much more does the heart of the Lord yearn obedience from us who are made a new creation through the blessed work of salvation of Christ Jesus. We have a blessed privilege to be the temple of the living God. The Spirit of the Lord who is holy is dwelling in our hearts. When the unbelievers who have not yet received the taste of the great salvation of the Lord rebel against the Lord by doing things according to their desires, they displease or reproach the holy God, their creator. In their midst, the Heavenly Father wants us to be obedient and walk in His path and learn His Holy Scriptures to be wise and walk in the path that our Lord directs and grow to that perfection 
which makes the heavenly father proud of us the father wants us to be the children of light in the midst of the generation of darkness so let us be careful in our walk let us always examine our life in the light of the word of god whether our heavenly father is glad with our walk are we growing in heavenly wisdom or are we ending up as fools who just are greedy after the blessings all the time do we learn from the mistakes that we have committed when our heavenly father chastens us always remind ourselves that one day we will have to stand before the heavenly throne where we will be in the midst of the holy angels and saints from all over the world there will our heavenly father be proud to call our name We all sing that blessed songs when the role is called up yonder I'll be there do we have that hope and assurance that I'll be there before my father and he will be glad to see me as I have grown in wisdom and knowledge of the lord i pray that holy spirit god may help everyone who hears this voice to examine their lives in the presence of the lord and be a blessed son in whom heaven is pleased may the lord help us for that let us pray Father we praise you and thank you for this blessed time that you have given us and thank you for your precious word Lord help us in these days to realize how serious our call is and grow to that maturity help us to spend time to meditate on your word to know you more and be careful in our walk so that heaven may be proud of us and your name is glorified give us the wisdom thank you for hearing our prayers in Jesus most holy name we pray Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.